Welcome back to You Live. I'm joined on the couch by the authority of pop, in pop music, Duncan Grieve. Duncan, lovely to see you again. Lovely to see you too. It's been a while. I, uh, I heard you were talking about Kay Lee the other week. And I was. I was very disappointed to miss that. Yeah, well, you know, you, some education <laughs> yeah, that I yeah, provide. It's very important. Public service, you know. You do, you do. You come in once a fortnight to teach us a little bit more about pop music. And it's very pertinent this week because Robin, who you're going to be talking about, is coming to New Zealand. Yeah, well, I'm just going to go right ahead and say well, that... Just, just, <laughs> just quickly, should I say, yeah. what, what's the fascination? I know that she's good, I know that she's talented, but people really get on board with Robin. What is, why? Why does well, it happen? I think, um, I, I think there's a few different reasons. Like, chiefly, she's got this amazing narrative to her, her story, you know, which, which is not true of most pop stars. In fact, narrative is something that you generally avoid because the narrative <laughs> is normally, we held a big audition and this was the best one we could find, yeah. you know. <laughs> um, whereas with Robin, it's like, you know, when she's sort of 17, she links up with Max Martin in, in her native Sweden. Yep. This is pre-fame Max, this is before Max Martin invents Britney Spears, before he invents the Backstreet Boys, oh, wow. before he produces every hit song of the yep. last 10 years and, and so on. Um, so they, they both kind of, they, they both invent themselves together. Yep. So she starts out as this perfect manufactured product, has these two worldwide hits, Show Me Love and uh, another one. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and f so thereafter, she puts out a series of diminishing returns, just just regular pop albums, and and Max Martin is just hammering out hits around the world. And, and, he's, and I, he's leaving Robin alone. Is he forget yeah, about it? Yeah. Well, I, I think maybe he did, but I also think it was it was a beautiful thing. It was necessary because Robin. You know, as much as I love manufactured products, there, there's more in the world than just them. Yep. And Robin says so she's putting out these albums, and, and it comes to like 2005, it's like six years since she's had a hit. She's still a star in Sweden, but she kind of goes, I'm, I'm just going to give one last roll of dice and just try doing it my way. Okay. Sets up her own independent record label, wow. very weird for a pop star. Yeah. You know, basically takes complete creative control of her career, writes her songs, puts out this album called Robin, which initially is only out in Sweden, but you know, it feels like a lot of people have gone on board in the body talk era, but Robin is where it started. And that was actually kind of a bigger hit, but, you know, it has just these spectacular songs on it, Be Mine, which where the beat is entirely strings. It's a very, almost an avant-garde avant pop, pop record, which is wow. almost, you know, people think that's a contradiction in terms. Why challenge them? I challenge you, <laughs> <laughs> to, dear viewer, to, to listen to, uh, to that album and not see the way that it is extremely challenging to the pop form while at the same time kind of... A hit. It's a hit record, man. Yeah, it's a catchy yeah, yeah. song. So I think wow. the narrative's compelling and the songs, because they're the product of one songwriter, you know, most, most pop music is a hive mind. It's like six, seven yeah. old, balding, creepy dudes, you know, you're going to spike these kids. And Guetta. Yeah, yeah, and David Guetta is just... <laughs> and and that, this is something very different. The same reason that Taylor Swift is compelling because it's with one voice making things. Yeah. Robin... Uh, Robin is, is like a 32-year-old woman writing from the perspective of a 32-year-old woman with all of this amazing experience and telling very honest stories. It's, it's why it's so compelling, you know? Yeah. And she's got a sense of pop music's history and the drama and wow. all the things that kind of... When pop is at its, like, highest potential, you know, when it really grips you and it feels like there's nothing else in the world, yeah. her greatest moments just epitomise that feeling. And it's, it's such a rare and fleeting and special sensation that you know it's hard not to just be engulfed by emotion when you when you think about Robin and listen to her. So you're going to the concert? No. <laughs> no seriously I'm, I'm going to be in England. Oh. My mum's 60th. Like, is there oh. any more brutal irony in the world that you're trading up the best part of you ever with all of your friends yeah. and people you would like to be friends with if your mum's 60th? No offence mum who's not watching. I just got to go hang out with my parents. Sorry, yeah guys. yeah it's oh. the, when you're a pub in uh, like Cornwall or some shit. Mm. That's um Kawita there really enjoying that one thank you for bleeping out that word as well so we could bring up that comment and uh Kyle's saying tune. Yeah it is it's absolutely it's lots of tunes. Well should we get to one that I think was Rose's favourite song for a very long time and Connor's and everyone's really. Call Your Girlfriend by Robin. I just, uh, just for me, I'm just going to jump in here oh, because please, when Girls, I watch this video, it excites me at the potential of her concert. Like, think how great this gig is going to be. Think how much you're going to be missing, Duncan. <laughs> Look, I'm so well, sorry. <laughs> Look, I, 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 you know, the reason that I'm not just, like, here bawling and stabbing <laughs> myself in the chest is because I've seen Robin live in concert in a very small club 
smug, smug, smug. It was really amazing. <laughs> it was so wonderful. She had two drummers. She came out. She plays like this perfect set, and you know, I was, I was like here. Afterwards, she sent a text message to Justin Warren, a guy oh. you know, saying Robin would like to hang out with you guys. We went and had champagne with her. You know, I, I had this moment that I will never, ever touch again in my life, you know. That's my one sort of almost, story, okay? It would be sacrilegious to see her again because it would be creeping exactly, in on that night. Exactly. Yeah. So, you can't do it to that night. Wow. So, exactly. So, but what I, what I, I guess what I think is important about that story is that you who are watching this, <laughs> if you can go to that concert, you go to that concert because you're going to have the best night of your life. That's wow. Bar none, it will blow your mind. If you don't, I really don't know what you're breathing for. <laughs> so, you know, think about well, that. There you go. Truth bombs from Duncan Greve. Thank you very much. Oh, it's been good. Succinct, passionate, and very informative. Here is Call Your Girlfriend by Robin. Go and get tickets to the show. Do it. That was emotional. That was beautiful. Yeah.